Um, but yeah, please. Uh, Hip Hop Nucleus, the Tunnel documentary is out now. Y'all get that. Support a brother. So there's a lot of news I got to cover tonight. Um, sorry I came on late. Or later in the evening. But I had a lot to do today. Shout out to my man Live Hip Hop Daily. What's good with you? Uh, shout out to Leola Brown, Bobby Brown's sister. See, she followed me on Instagram. Shout out to Leola. Y'all tell her I said what up. I was actually in her uh, in her live chat today, watching. Shout out to Perry Jones. He was over there. CC Crippin first in the building. What up? My fellow Americans, salute. What up, nephew? Walk on wood in the building. Michelle Frizzy's here. Boss MVP. Perry Jones is here. No love for the other side in here. Mix Wells is in here. Ronnie Stiggity Stacks, Joel King, Vanity in the building. Shaw's here. Uh, excuse me, Live Hip Hop Daily's here. Ellis is in the building. Kim Gaines is here. All that stack. Ola, Courtney O, Fatima B, R. McFly, Regina B. All right. Ran through it all is here. All right. King. 0821 is in the building. Both the years in here. Miss Lewis is in here. Corrupt Seed is in here. What up, what up, King Wiz? Choke no joke, we in here. Capital C is in here. JFG 58 is in here twice. All right, y'all. So let's get into it. You know, we got a hundred people in the building. So, it's a lot I got to cover. Jesus, it's a lot. A lot that has been going on. Um, first thing I want to do is I want to tap into a follow-up story. Because I did a story on... Um, what I want to call senseless violence that cost a young girl her life. I think she was 21. It was some other people that was shot too, but that was at that club, 1145 here in Atlanta. I want to follow up on that story too, right? But there's this other story today, man. I hate talking like this because I sound like an old nigga. Like I was young and wild at, at, at one point, but I will be the first to admit that we was led by ignorance. There were older guys older than us. There was the, 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 the right guys too that told us, yo, get out the street, go to school. Yo, you don't need to be out here. We had those guys, but we thought they was dumb and corny and shit because we were stupid and ignorant listen to the niggas that we thought was cool who are the dumb and ignorant ones right the people that tell us yo go to school you don't need to be in the street 
those are the people that love us, right? But that don't sound cool at all. You know what I'm saying? Because you see in the fast money, you see in the, 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 the drug dealers with the, the most expensive shit, you see the hardworking people, they look like they ain't got shit. They struggling. So you listen to the people with the money because you see the flash. It's kind of like today, niggas say, won't listen to me for the knowledge I give them. They'll listen to the, uh, another nigga that got half my knowledge, but if the nigga got a Maybach and some jewelry, they'll believe him over me. I ain't listening to you, nigga, right? But I'm telling them through experience because I done lived it, and I know the fast money come with all types of repercussions, right? And stipulations, depending on what line of business you're talking. So, like I said, I I feel like I be like I'm the old nigga now, which I am. But the mentality that I got now started in my early twenties. By twenty five. I knew to get the hell away from the streets, right? I knew everything was bullshit. Everything that the older niggas was telling me. By 25 years on, on earth, I learned enough to say, you know what? Y'all niggas is corny, you stupid ass street niggas. And these motherfuckers are smart. Why am I listening to y'all when I should have been listening to them, right? So... Our era, like I told y'all, a lot of us, our era birthed a lot of entrepreneurs because those are the people that listen to, to, to us that uh, didn't think that we was corny when we was something to get out the street, this, that, and the other, and something better. Those people, some clicked with those people and those people became entrepreneurs and they doing different things. Then we got the generation that believed all the ignorant shit like a lot of us street dudes believed, right? And followed that path, which led to the drill rap and all this other shit, or niggas still in the streets selling drugs and that other. Those people are in jail, dead, uh or figuring it out coming home from jail now like damn now she was dumb i need to go on this side with these people right so like i said the generation above me birthed us right then we birthed the next generation and the, and the guys that's coming up so now by the time I'm 25, I'm telling all the little young niggas that I'm cool with, yo, get out the street, get away from these niggas, that, 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 right? Someone might be like, oh, this nigga choke is washed, the nigga ain't no gangster no more, oh, the nigga gun got warm, all this dumb shit, right? But they would say that knowing not to try me because fucking I can become that nigga like that, right? If if need be. But I learned from uh lessons. That's why I call my album Learn from Mistakes. I learned from the mistakes I made and other people's mistakes to try a different approach at life and do things different and don't there's more you got more chance of making big money legally than trying this fast illegal shit. Right. So I say all that to say that some of us matured and found a better life. And some of us, I know niggas still in jail or just coming home from jail and think they going to really try that shit again. And I see niggas that I know that shit from the 80s that came home several times. And one of my managers told me how this one nigga just got locked up again 
it like this is probably like his second, third Fed bid again, right? So he he got smarter and got smarter, and then the the uh the police and now he he back in there again. And this time, depending on what it is, he might die in that motherfucker, right? Or if he come home, he gonna be probably seventy, right? And what are you going to do? Try to do it again? Or are you going to try to start his life off and be like, yo, man, shit is stupid, man. I shouldn't have got back in the street in my 50s. Now, he coming home in 60s and 70s and thinking he going to start new. No, nigga. It's over. Right? So I say all that to say this. And just like the women, we had the Queen Latifahs, the Lauren Hills, then we had the Little Kim and the Foxies. And the Little Kim and the Foxies birthed the Nickies and the Megans. And now the Megans is birthing the fucking sexy Reds. Right? So, and the, you know, so the, the women as ignorant as we are in the streets, like we created great gangster rap, which created drill rap where niggas think, the, think that they really had to kill because in gangster rap, niggas was faking. So in drill rap, we really got to kill and then go rap about it. That will make us real rappers. We birthed the whole fucking ignorant goddamn generation so now these these drill rappers, they killing and going and rapping about it and telling them themselves it's horrible, right? The women, they come outside, they 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 don't know how to dress no more. They coming outside in lingerie and in and, and bathing suits, and they on social media with bathing suits. This, this is the, 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 the key thing that kills me the most about the women now. The women they with the like. Y'all women that got y'all bodies done, stop trying to front on women that ain't got the money to do it, all right? Y'all like these niggas with the chains or the gold teeth, got gone like this, because you got a chain with it. Now the new thing is with these chicks with the fake bodies, they go to the gym and they be in the mirror going like this, lifting up their stomach like, like under here, you ain't gonna see a goddamn sh fucking scar going across their goddamn stomach, all that stitch in the shit, unless they got the tattoos that's going across it, right? To cover it up. But here they are now and, and on Instagram going like this in the mirror, like this. Like they worked out and got this flat stomach, but they won't go down here where you can see the goddamn stitching going across their goddamn waist. And them scary ass looking scars, nigga going down on you like, bro, fuck. Like Frankenstein was my daddy, nigga, eat it. <laughs> yo, that shit is crazy to me, yo. How these chicks be in the mirror flaunting. The shit with the fake ass belly button, no more belly button, it just stretched. <laughs> and they put they shit down <laughs> in, the, <laughs> in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> they go in the gym for two minutes. They ain't did shit. They ain't even sweating. They just went in the gym just so they have a reason to go like this and act like they like they didn't get off the fucking table. Like, come on, man. So I can imagine what the, the the young girls like the drill rap. What 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 sexy red is going to birth for the next generation? It's it's scary to think. It's scary. It's scary. It's scary. Along with all the trans and all this other stuff, these little kids. Ooh, baby. Some of y'all ain't gonna even have no grandkids. Because they're going to have your kids so goddamn gay, they ain't going to be making no babies. So, 
So all you mothers that got daughters, it is more than likely you won't be a grandmother. But the reason that I, I'm, I'm pointing this out is because of the, the first story I want to go into, right, before I get into uh, that club uh, 1145, is three kids got shot here in Atlanta last night, right? Not only was it three kids that got shot in Atlanta last night, right? This happened 12 a.m. in the morning, right? Almost one in the morning. Three kids got shot, right? Two 13 years old and a 12 year old. Yes, that's what I said. Two 13 years old. And the 12 years old, a 12 year old, right? Three of them shot. Two of them are dead. You see what I'm saying about the generations? By the time I figured 25, oh shit. The shit that the older niggas was telling me, I should have listened. I wasted five, eight years, whatever it was in the years in the street. Let's just say if I wasted five years in the street, I could have had my master's degree. Right? I wasted it. I could have went to school. I wasted it in the streets. To some of that five years was in jail. Wasted it. Wasted it. And five years go by like that. Bam, you thinking, oh, I don't want to go to college. I don't want to go to school. Man, it's going to take forever. Nigga, boom, you turn around, motherfucker graduated. And the nigga just coming home from jail. One nigga got a degree. One nigga got a fucking plastic bag full of clothes. And the nigga with the plastic bag full of clothes get more love than the nigga that came home from college. Excuse me. Or the military. Right? So I, what I'm saying to y'all is this. If you don't start changing... The way that uh, the society has our children now. If you don't pull your kids away from these little niggas in the street or these little fast-ass girls, you're going to be putting your baby at risk. And that's all I'm saying. And I'm just going to show y'all. Let And a month ago, it was three kids that was found dead, shot to death in the car, bro. Three kids that was shot to death. This is this this is a whole different thing here. And people be like, yo, Joe, you too strict. You too strict. Okay. You want to let your kid be around these fast ass kids. Let me do my legal thing here. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 allowances made for fair use for the purposes such as uh, for purposes such as criticism, common news reporting, teacher scholarship, and research. Fair use is abuse permitted by the copyright statute that might otherwise be infringed on nonprofit educational personal use tips a balance in favor of fair use. All right. And uh of course we're using this for criticism and comments and of course news reported but uh let me get into this first story man now 
if you got kids in your house 13 and under, 14 and under, your, 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 your children, your daughter, your son, your niece, your nephew, your grandchildren, this go don't think this cannot be you. Okay? Police your goddamn children. It's 1048 p.m. Do you know where your children are right now? If you don't, this this story will make you call a phone and look for them. Okay? Two of those kids have died. This all happened just after midnight on Spark Street. And good thanks, Mark Teichner joins us live from Grady Memorial Hospital, where the survivor is being treated. Mark. That's right. Uh, 12 years old only. Uh, last check in stable condition. Unfortunately, these two other boys did not make it. They have been described as being 13. These shootings are tragic, but when we have juveniles, it makes it more so. Three children are shot, two are dead, the other rushed to the hospital. The gunfire rang out around 12.40 Tuesday morning at an apartment complex located on southwest Atlanta, Spark Street. Two 13-year-olds and one 12-year-old. One of the 13-year-olds was pronounced deceased on scene. The other two were transported. Sadly, the other 13-year-old died at the hospital. The 12-year-old, at last check, was in stable condition. Police have no motive or suspect description, telling us they aren't sure if the gunman fled on foot or in a vehicle. Coming through video and doing a canvas and speaking to witnesses. My cousin, real smart, real funny. He didn't do nothing to nobody. Desiree Barber's cousin died in the shooting. Her mom said it was okay for us to talk to her about him. Love to ride bikes and be outside. Bike riders be outside. Ride bikes all around the neighborhood and stuff like that. She says her cousin liked to play basketball, was about to go into the eighth grade at Sylvan Hills Middle School school and today would have been his 14th birthday he in a better place and i had to suffer so i'm still waiting to get an update from police you you see you see how you see how programmed we are as a people that this little girl is not even emotionally distraught because it's so common to lose somebody that, that early on in life. This girl said he's in a better place. He ain't got to suffer. A better place at 13? What does she even know about that? What better place is he in at 13? But you see how they got, they got like, we are so conditioned to think that dying at an early age is cool. Like, it don't even affect this, this little girl, this, her cousin's gone and she ain't even crying. Not saying that she don't care. It's just that, She's so desensitized to uh, death due to the reality of, of our reality. I, she's desensitized to reality. It is, it's fucked up to say this, but it is actually our reality that our own kill our own even at a young age. Thanks for the donation, Courtney O. I'm 48, I'm with you, Choke. We used to be out walking the streets in the hood, teenage girls, but you only had problems if you asked for them. We didn't have social media. Yeah, the social media is, is uh sound cliche but it's a killer no pun intended yeah so hold on let me finish this as far 
as the latest information on the investigation. If we do get something from them, we'll let you know. Reporting live from Grady Memorial. Now, understand where we at, y'all. A 12-year-old and two 13-year-olds all shot at a quarter to one in the morning. Now, I know it's the summertime. Don't get me wrong. I know it's the summertime. But I'm just strict to that point that a 13-year-old, I don't give a fuck if you sitting on the porch you're not going outside at no one in the morning. I don't care if we live in the house. You still in the house 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. I don't care. Because there's nothing but trouble outside at that time for a kid. Now you tell me these people got to go and bury a two 13-year-olds, man? These dudes ain't even reached puberty yet, but they playing with guns. Can't even get nothing pregnant yet and playing with guns. Twelve and thirteen, y'all. Twelve and thirteen in the shootout. Two of them is dead. One's in stable in the hospital. Twelve and thirteen, y'all. This generation will inspire the next generation where they shooting at eight years old, bro. Twelve and thirteen. 